You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is... Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief... Chester D. Higgins. Hard to... Oh, Higgins has been many things. I've come a long way for... I specialize in... Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was in it. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the... There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have... Oh, God, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here. The t For... Mind the steam, you're liable to get scalded. Oh, in
Hold it up. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the lift? Sister. Here they come! Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick, but Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to... Sorry, I didn't... Really?
That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are, chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine, go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. My son worked in that cannery. We had a store of medicine locked, so I buried my boy in the cemetery. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman and tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The secret? Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Keep staring at. Whoa. Are you uh great, just great. I'm... Oh gosh, no. I've seen you wandering around here. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were fact is I've been I'll take all the help I can get. I set my... You ever heard of the... Those are good. My dad... I know the old community. No kidding! The geothermal plant? Now that is just inc... I appreciate... In fact... Sure! I'd be glad to take them off... I've been thinking about going back, back. I get sick thinking. 
You know something? I think I could do a lot of good. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna... You know where to find me. Marauders can't see us. Thank you. 